Hello YouTube and welcome to today's video. We're going to be reviewing the Hornby LBSC 060 Terrier Piccadilly. The first thing I want to start off with with this video and the review is the paintwork. So let's get into that right now. First thing I want to show you is the very nice clean striping on along the boiler, along the splasher and the sandboxes. On the bottom of the running board, which goes all the way around the whole thing, the very nice lining on the front buffer beam, and the very nice lining on the back of the buffer beam, and on this, uh, I believe is a toolbox right here, which I actually don't know if that's correct or not. Now the next thing I want to look at is the color contrast between the nice tannish brown color for the base of the locomotive and then the nice green accents along the water tanks on the side of the boiler. I think the color contrast between these co two colors are, is very nice, and I think Hornby did an excellent job of painting the locomotive. The next thing I'd like to show you all is the detailing on the top of the locomotive and in the cab and on the front of the locomotive and the back of the locomotive. The, let's start with the top of the locomotive where we can clearly see two nicely molded and separately applied water hatches where you can fill the uh, boiler tanks, I mean water tanks with water. Next we can see the separately applied grab irons and then up here I believe would be a safety valve and then we can see right here a little plastic whistle. Uh, unfortunately the top of this fu the funnel is not brass I would have liked to see it be brass, but unfortunately it is not. Next up, we have the front of the locomotive involving the smoke box door and the airlines and uh, hook coupler in the front. This has the older style coupling, so they're not NEM coupling compatible. Well, they are NEM coupling compatible, but they are not NEM couplings. Now we come to the back of the locomotive where we can see yet again more striping and more air brake and hook coupler detailing. This locomotive also has some very nice cab detailing but there's not much of it because the cab really doesn't have much in it because it's a small locomotive so you're not going to really be looking in the cab much. However it does have very nice glazed windows they are not individually glazed, but they're still nice glazed windows. You can also see we have some lining along the uh, cab itself and the doors as well. For the next subject, I'm going to be taking a look at the performance of the locomotive. And one thing I forgot to mention, these are not metal buffers, and no, they are not sprung. Now let's take a look at the performance of the OCP. my camera back and you can see that my stand for today is a bottle of foam glue. Now let's get on with testing this locomotive. On clean and level track this thing was should run very smooth like we see here. Unfortunately though my track is not clean and it's moderately smooth. It runs smoothly and quietly in both directions, but unfortunately, it being a British locomotive and not being an American locomotive, it does not have an operating headlight because of most British locomotives had lamps, had small lamps that they would put on the front and back of the running board, and sometimes, depending on the locomotive, and if it was running backwards without a tender and it was a tank engine, they'd have a red light on the back of the cab. But it being a British locomotive, we do not have a light to test, so there's no light function on this locomotive at all. And now we can go see what this locomotive looks like when pulling a, when pulling a small freight train. And I have a line of nice Hornby freight cars set up behind it on the bridge. And it seems it is having, having a coupling issue already. But that is understandable due to the fact that the couplings on this thing are old and worn because this engine is quite used. You can see we have an array of 
box vans, plank wagons, a lime car, and a nice brake van at the back. We will now follow the Terrier as we test to see how it handles a 2% grade. And if you can hear that, my dogs are going crazy outside for some reason. Now, this is a very nice realistic speed. I set mine at 40% because it is a technically a branch line locomotive. But we're going to see how this handles with a five car train, not including the brake van, of a 2% grade. And so far, it is handling it quite well. I'm very impressed with the little engine. I do not have a scale, so I cannot see how heavy it is. But I will tell you that it can pull all five of those Great Western four-wheel coaches. And now you get to see a nice shot of the River Rossi Big Boy I have. And the train running backwards. video if you liked please like comment and subscribe if you have any other suggestions of locomotives i can do a review on please leave them in the comment section i hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching